What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're finally going to talk about the tow vehicle for the channel. This is the thing that tows the Camaro around, that's towed the Jeep home, that, that tows everything around, um, hauled everything, and thought we'd do a little walk around on it and talk about some of the things that I've done to it. Because it started life as a pretty basic express ram. Pretty boring looking, very fleet truck looking, and now it definitely looks a little bit cooler. So we'll do a little walk around on it, talk about some of the things I've done, some of the things we've done to make it tow better. Now guys, real quick in the comments, let me know what's your tow vehicle, what kind of truck are you running, and what have you done to it? A little bit of lift, little tires, what do you have personally and how that works for you? You may not be a Dodge guy, you may not be a Ford guy. Let me know, what do you got, what do you drive? And let's take a look at this thing. So guys, like I said, this is a Ram 1500 Express. Now the Express package is a pretty low trim level truck, cloth interior, but it's got all the look of a sport. And by that I mean you've got the painted bumpers front and rear, you've got the cool dual exhaust in the rear, but you're saving a ton of money over buying the more expensive sport trim level truck. But like you saw in that first picture, it still has a little bit of room for improvement. So on the exterior, you can see I have swapped the chrome badges and chrome headlights for the black badges, black headlights out of a black appearance ram. And that also carries on down to the side. We've got the black badges also off of a black appearance group truck. Now, one thing on these express trucks that center B pillar is just body color. And at least with this white truck, it made it look a little bit cheap. I threw some black vinyl down in between those windows. And at least personally, I think it makes it look a little more expensive or high end, nice, whatever. Now, one thing we do have here are some Ram Night Edition wheels. Um, pick these up for not too awful much. And that also kind of adds to the, you know, sport look of the truck having the nicer wheel and tire. And of course we threw the black badges on the back of the truck and there are the cool, you know, dual exhaust that these Rams have. Now talking about the wheels and tires, we are running a 285 6520, which is almost a 35 inch tall tire. Now to fit and run those 35 inch tall tires without rubbing or anything like that, we had to make it a little bit taller, which is something on these half ton Rams you really badly need to do because they sit so low in the front, even on the four wheel drives from the factory. So what I've done on this truck is put the Bilstein 5100 adjustable front shocks on it. And they're really cool. You can change where the lower spring seat sits on the shock body, which in turn adds preload to the front springs and lifts the truck up. It's kind of the correct way to do a leveling kit versus just bolting a spacer on top of the factory shock. Now, since I do tow with this truck, I did not want it perfectly level. I went ahead and added a small one inch spring spacer under the rear springs. So I would still have about a half inch of rake on the truck. So I would have a little bit of room to squat when I had something in the bed or was hauling the car on the car trailer. One thing I did add was the Airlift 1000 rear airbag system that goes inside of the rear coil springs. Now they're really nice. You don't have any brackets, anything like that. The install is super nice and easy and it's a relatively cheap kit at around $100. They go inside of the rear coil springs and you run a couple of air lines to the back of the truck. And then anytime you need, you can add air to those rear airbags and help that truck sit level and not squat down when you're towing. So those are almost a must have on a late model Ram 1500. Now guys, now that we've jumped under the truck, you can see those Bilstein 5100 shocks there in the front with the different little snap ring grooves. Another thing I did add on this truck was the factory front axle. 
and transfer case skid plate. Now this truck did not have those from the factory, so I wanted to add those for a little bit more protection when I was off road. And now that we're here in the back, you can see those one inch spring spacers sitting under the factory coil spring and then the big red Airlift 1000 airbags that help to add a little bit of load stability to the vehicle. And also here on the rear axle, we can see that I've got a set of Fox Racing 2.0 rear shocks with the gravel guard there on the bottom. It's kind of a cool looking shock and, you know, is a nice upgrade over the factory Ram shocks. So along with those rear airbags, another really nice add-on was the Ram factory tow mirrors. And you've obviously seen these going down the road, but they're super nice because when they're folded down, they look like a normal mirror but you can really quickly flip them up and just get a lot more view of the trailer and what's going on behind the truck. So we'll do a quick look inside this thing. Um, now this is where the Ram Express obviously shows that it is a little bit lower trim level of a truck. We've got the cloth seats, the more basic door panels, the smaller screened radio, but we still have backup camera, Bluetooth, all that kind of fun needed stuff. Now, one thing I did do, the Ram Expresses come with just a basic kind of plastic steering wheel. This is a leather steering wheel out of a Bighorn Ram, and it just makes the truck feel a little nicer driving down the road, holding on to that nice leather wrap steering wheel versus the plastic wheel that it comes with. You know, we've also got the WeatherTech style factory Ram all weather mats. And another thing I did add was factory remote start. And again, just kind of another modern day convenience feature that most trucks have that is now nice that this thing has. Now on the side of the steering wheel here, we do have the eight speed shifter and it's kind of a goofy rotary shifter but that means this truck has the eight speed transmission. And that eight speed transmission works so outrageously well, paired behind that 5.7 liter Hemi with that eight speed transmission. It is a awesome combination. Anything that Chrysler has with the eight speed transmission, it's in the Jeep Grand Cherokees, the trucks, Durango's, cars, it's just a really, really good transmission. Shifts well, gets good gas mileage, and at least with the truck and towing, it works really well because you've got a really low first gear, but you've also got all of those other gears to shift through as you're getting up to speed and maintaining speed. So really, really like that eight speed transmission that came around 2014-ish, 2013, 2014 on the Rams. So if you're looking at a used Ram, make sure you've got that rotary shifter that will tell you right away that you've got a truck with an eight speed transmission under it. Well guys, hopefully that at least gives you a little bit of the rundown of some of the parts and pieces that I've put on my specific tow rig Ram 1500 to help it tow and look a little bit different than all of those other Rams going down the road. Let me know down in the comments if there's any specific parts or anything else you want me to hit on on this thing. I've really, really enjoyed making this thing look a little bit different than all of the other trucks going down the road. And it works and drives and tows really, really well. So guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.